Welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. As it is Sea Today of Tradition, every weekend morning, and as I said earlier, I will now try to make a special dish which will complete your weekend. But I won't be alone. I have my friend, Chef Brian here. Hello. How are you, Brian? Thank you for having me over here. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you for coming. It. Thank you for joining us. And we are in a special segment of You Masak. Alright, so Brian, tell yes, us, sir. tell us what are we gonna make today? Sounds great. So we're gonna make a really easy recipe. Mm -hmm. I think it's really fit for like uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. If you are in a hurry, maybe like less than 15 minutes to make. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna make is the spicy cilantro lime noodle. Like the name itself is basically right. contents of like, the main point is the cilantro, cilantro. the noodle for itself, of and uh, the lime for the flavor and the acidity levels to, to balance it out, the fattiness from the fat and the other stuff. And we're also gonna make some grilled chicken over here that are pre-made, nice. so to accompany the, the noodle itself. Nice. So yeah. Nice. And uh, tell us, what kind of noodle are you using right now? So for the noodle itself right now, uh, we're using the regular noodle, the mi lebar. Mm -hmm. I, because I like uh, the, the texture-wise better, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the chewiness, but right. it's actually up to you what kind of noodle you want and right. it's basically whatever you have at home as mm -hmm. well. If, basically. for example, I have only Indomie at home mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any kind of instant noodle, can I use it? Oh yeah, of course. It's just like whatever you prefer is easiest uh, at your home, at right. the reach of your hand, right. like whatever you can use. Awesome, awesome. All right. And also I saw that there's a lot of uh, spices here. Yes. What, do I, what are you going to use it for? So basically over here, uh, I just want to balance it out. Like over here we got uh, some cumin, some curry powder, and some chili flakes and chili powder mm -hmm. to give the heat. But otherwise, uh, the, I think the prominent uh, flavor is probably like the cumin and the curry powder balance it out curry powder yeah nice. a little bit of the i already tiny, liking yeah. it all right, know, let's, right let's get to it let's sounds good it. so probably if you can help me chop some shallots and of garlic course. maybe two cloves of them yes. it should be fine okay all right and i'm gonna mix the other stuff over here so right now we have the chili flakes just mix them in together and it's up to you uh, uh, about like how much you want to put in uh how much uh, heat do you want and right here we got the chili powder chili powder yes sir uh, slices or chop? Uh, chop, that's fine. Okay. Finely chop. Because at the end of the day, after we mix all of this, we're gonna uh, cook some really hot oil to pour it over here. Right, so it's um, more or less like dan dan noodles. Yeah, right? that's true. That's exactly true. With the mm. uh, noodles as well. Indeed. Thick noodles. So yeah, it's, it's actually sharing the, the, the similarities with the, the dan dan noodle right. but it's more kind of like Vietnamese flavored Vietnamese flavor. yeah because, because we got some cilantro, cilantro the lime yeah. some fish sauce oyster sauce you know yes, and I over like here the, the, the curry, curry powder. powder yeah Lovely. cumin curry oh, I love that's it. like the best part right to wake you up give you some flavor of the day yes you know? yes it's it's one spice that um, we Indonesians uh, we are we are used to it, but if it's overpowering the dish, yeah. You know, sometimes, like many Indonesians, they don't really like that. That's that true. Cumin flavor. That's true. Yeah. And over here, we got some black pepper, just to give a little bit kick. Yes. And right. freshly grounded. Yes, that's important. There you go. Yes. It's different, right? Sometimes Very you different. bought like store bought, like oh, you yeah. know, it's, oh. the smell is just not as good. Really different. Know? Never ever. <laughs> Uh, get the the store bought store one, bought like the one that already powder. crushed, right? Yeah, yes, powder. it's totally it different. Like dust, indeed. Yes, Over here, we got the cilantro, a bunch of it, right? Because later, once you uh, pour it with the hot oil, it's, it's gonna uh, kind of wilt it. Mm -hmm. And over here, I'm gonna pass behind yes. you, right over here. We're gonna zest some. Lime over here. Nice. We I've, know that he's a real cook or a real chef. The way he, that's using a microplane. Microplane, yes. yep. When using microplane, microplane and tweezers. And tweezers, yes. You know, <laughs> his shirt has this uh, pocket, a very chef right. shirt, which explains uh, kind of chef he is. There you go. So you like cook at home usually? Uh, I don't, man. I no? I cook at restaurants. Nice. Uh, not anymore at home. Uh, I I try always try to cook at home uh, as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But um, you know sometimes 
but that's the thing though. Like if you already work in the restaurants, sometimes once you got home, you just yeah. like you just wanna, you wanna uh, take rest. Order out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Something simple like this one. But you, if it's the know? weekend, like I don't mind cooking a few. Yeah, like, for yeah, example, yeah. These kind of dish, you know. Indeed. Just a nice, uh, simple dish. Something that you really like. Yep. You feed it to your family. It's, Indeed. It gives you a certain kind of enjoyment. I feel like the, the, the joy of and the happiness of a chef is like when you cook it for someone. Exactly. And seeing them eating it, seeing them liking it, it's yes. just like the happiness yes. that you get. That's basically, that's basically a, a, a why a lot of people become a chef. Indeed, right? yeah. Because it's, uh, it's that satisfaction that gives that's you true. uncomparable happiness. That's true, that's oh, wow. true. Wow, deep words. By the way, <laughs> um, should I chop this as well? Sure. Lots? Yep. Slice. Two should be enough, I guess. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this from you, the garlic. Okay. All right. And right over here, I'm heating up the oil just to make it really, really hot. You just want to make it like until smoking. Okay. Then and we're gonna pour using it. Using what kind of oil? Uh, just regular vegetables oil. Okay. And not, probably you don't want uh, anything that flavored. Neutral flavors like uh, corn oil, uh, peanut oil, that's probably like more neutral. So olive oil is a no-go? Uh, I wouldn't do it because like it has some flavor in it. Yeah. And we're doing like more like an Asian flavor. So it, olive is gonna be like kind of like cross, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, not yeah. the... That's true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Some shallots over here. All right. And while we're waiting for the oil to be hot, probably we can play with the fire over here. Yes. So over here we got some nice. chicken that I already sous vide and marinate as well. Mm -hmm. And we just need to torch it to make it cook while we're waiting to get that some of the color, the glaze, yeah. let the sugar caramelize, you know. This is also a pretty much restaurant technique where you first cook the meat first, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. Either oven it or you sous vide yes. it. Yes. And then before a service starts, you just need to reheat it. Yep. Torching or putting Tor it on the on the grill. Yes, the grill salamander. salamander just or uh, literally like on yes, the pan. Give some color. Indeed. And a nice caramelization. There we go. And you can get that smokiness as well, you know. Sorry. Yes. I'm gonna take that one from it. Yeah, and one thing I I I don't know if I like it or not with torching is that it gives you um, easiness, mm -hmm. but you tend to have the same flavor mm. if you torch everything, right? That's true, that's true. Um, uh, chicken or uh, mentai, salmon, mm -hmm. whatever. It's, I think you get that smell like that the specific yeah. Yeah, taste the of the burnt smokiness. Burnt yeah. torched flavor. Indeed. It could be nice depending on what kind of dish you like. That's true. Yeah, or what you want to make. And it depends on the, the time, the service exactly. style as well. So. Exactly. But it's definitely a crowd pleaser. Yeah. You do it table side, the people will Ooh, put up their phones, fire. Instagram, <laughs> and like, oh, this is such a nice That's uh, true. gimmick. Right. So you used to cook a lot on the restaurants, you said, before? like. Yes. Uh, nice. Yes, I used to work in the restaurant and uh, still am uh, doing nice. some events and a couple of other things as well, like consulting. Because, um, yeah, I think when you, once you start cooking, you cannot get out of it. That's true, that's it's, true. Uh, it's, there's too much fun in it, no? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm so nervous right now. I'm standing on a really no, big chef over here today. I am, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's me who's uh, getting the nerves right now. <laughs> All but, right. Um, yes, so this is done. Mm -hmm. After this is done, you just need to mix the the... Pour the, the oil? Yeah, do you put the chili on the oil or not? Yes, I put the chili powder, chili oh, flakes yeah. on the oil. Uh -huh. And now we're just waiting to be hot. Once it's hot, then we're gonna pour it, mix the noodle. Yep. And then put some, we got some fish sauce fish over sauce, here. Yes, yes. That's what makes it sauce. really Southeast Asian. Right? Yes, yeah. indeed. Either Thai or Vietnamese. All right. Thai. This probably already hot. And this dish is, I think it's also really easy to make at home. Indeed. For you to, <clears throat> you guys to try. Uh, simple, delicious, um, easy to make. Probably less than 15 minutes if you are really in a rush. Yes. You want to cook for a lot of people. Yes. Boil some noodle, heat some oil, and then pour it over here yeah, and I that's agree. already done. It's a total crowd pleaser because Indeed. it has that, that, that 
flavors, the uh, spices is there as well, and then the acidity and the umami from the fish sauce yeah. and the oyster sauce. So it's it's a really nice way to to cook for somebody. Indeed. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna nice. pour some oil over here. There we go. Nice. That's the sound that we want to hear. Okay. And then before we put in the noodle, we just put a little bit, few drops of that fish, fish sauce. sauce, some oyster, yeah, sauce. oyster sauce. There we go. Nice. And I see some uh, ketchup uh, kick. Uh, yes. Soy sauce. Some soy sauce over here ketchup to give asin. a little bit. ketchup asin. Yes. Is this specifically Japanese or can I use Chinese? Or you can use maybe Chinese. Indonesian. Yeah, whatever you have on your on your uh, drawer. Right. Basically, this recipe I, I choose this recipe because it's really simple to make. Right. You don't need to have like specific ingredients yeah. or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Whatever that fits you, whatever you have in your drawer, mm. is the easiest way to do. Yeah. Right. All right. Now we're just gonna mix the noodle. All right. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, this is for the viewers out there. Yep. Um, if you boil a noodle, yes, or a pasta, or whatever that is, do you put? Do you need to put oil on the pan or not? Uh, I think it depends. Uh, I learned some from some of the chef. They put some oil inside the the pots. They right. said because it's, uh, if it's like during the really rush service. Mm -hmm. Uh, they want to be like coating it after they get out right. and if it's not, it's actually not necessary sometimes right. but it's it's not really a big deal probably okay. I would say. The question is, do you put oil on the noodle here? Uh, on the noodle itself? Mm -hmm. I did because I, I pre-cooked it before right. just to make it not stick, right. you know. But if you cook at home? Mm -hmm. If you cook it at home, right, pan, straight from the pan, need. you don't really need right. the oil. Yeah. So that's why, like I said, it depends on the the, the, the situation, yes. on the service itself, you know. Yes. Wow, All right. it's now looking really nice. nice. Hope the camera can zoom in and, and smell. We now we can start plate. If you can help me chop, uh, slice, slice some the, right. the chicken while I'll plate the noodle over okay. here. All right. And this chicken is cooked with... What a soy so sauce. I'm, I marinate with soy sauce, fish sauce, some brown sugar, garlic, and some chili. Nice. So it's more kind of like a Vietnamese, uh, Thailand nok cham, if you know, like yeah, the dressing yeah, nok yeah, cham. Yeah, yeah. It's more kind of like that, yeah, I would yeah. say. I used to work in a, a Vietnamese oh, yeah? takeaway place oh, wow. back in the Netherlands. Nice. Uh, and this is one of the dishes that we, that we make. Wow. Yeah. So nice. We put it inside, inside a banh mi. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that one. Okay, I'm gonna. Want me to serve it up? Sure. We what can put it plate? in the middle. Chef it up, chef. There we go. All right. One more, or that's enough? I think that's enough for right. one portion. So this is for us to be to have yes. it on backstage. And then we're just gonna garnish it with some cilantro. Nice. There the smell go. of the chili, the um, fish sauce, the everything is yeah. just wonderful. Some chili flakes. Yes. Cilantro, one of my favorite herbs of <laughs> all time. I know, right? It's, yeah. The smell is just so different, you know? Yeah, very specific, very... But I know not a lot of people, or like, I know some people... Some people doesn't like doesn't, it. They yeah. cannot handle the... The, 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 the flavor. Specific yes. yeah. flavor. All right. And that's all that we got over here. All right, amazing. Spicy. Amazing. Please, cilantro camera, lime zoom noodle. into this amazing noodle. There we go. All right. And now this is done. Then uh, tag the recipe. Um, you can find it. Yeah, you can find it on my Instagram. I actually yes. also posted some content in my Instagram, brian.mci8, if you want to see the to ingredients. And I think you guys also have like the specific ingredients on your uh, over here as well, if you want to check it out. Mm -hmm. And right. it's really easy to make. And it's probably like, what, less than 15 minutes that we're making over here. Yes. Yeah. So this is it. This is the recipe for the spicy cilantro lime noodle. You can see it seems like a lot, but it's actually quite easy to make. 
Yep, and everything is only in one bowl. Like you mix everything, you pour everything in one bowl, and yeah. then serve it up right yeah, away. You just need to cook the oil. Yeah, that's it. There's no. That's cooking. the only cooking, no cooking <laughs> other than the noodle. And the noodle, probably. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. There we go. Okay. You would you like to try it? I probably? would love to. Babe. All right. There yes, you sir. So, uh, please be the judge. Oh, pressure. <laughs> Pressure's on you. <laughs> oh, kidding. I know, it's like, I'm pumping right now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice, but I think there's one ingredient missing. Um, the lime. Lime. The squeeze yes. of lime over yes. here, the freshness. Yes. There we go. Once you add it, Oh yeah, give that extra zing and tangy. There we go. Let's have it. That freshness, mm -hmm. that balance from the acidity. There you go. There mm. we go. <laughs> How was it? Well. How's the chicken as well? Mm. And I would recommend. Amazing, man! This Thank chicken. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend if you can choose probably like what kind of cuts of the chicken, I would mm -hmm. say probably choose the thigh. The thigh. Because it's more fatty and it's... The upper thigh. Yes, the upper thigh because it yeah. has more fattiness and then also the gelatin and everything once yeah. you cook. And then once you sear it or torch it, it's, it won't dry as quick as the, mm -hmm. the chicken breast. Yeah. No, this, the chicken thigh is amazing. I know. Amazing. Thank it's you. Sous vide, <laughs> how long are you cooking for? Uh, this one sous vide uh, in 68 degrees Celsius right. for two hours. Two hours, imagine yep. that. Two hours making just a piece of chicken. There you go. You need the effort, right? You need the effort. <laughs> time is key, my friend. That's true, yes, that's true. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is um, recipes. You can also find it on your Instagram. That's true. What's your tag? So my Instagram is going to be brian.mci8 and right. you'll, you'll see a bunch of other recipes as well. Nice. So guys, follow his Instagram for more cooking videos, and awesome recipes. Yep. All right, so now we're up for another short break. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media at C Today if you haven't already done so. We're on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, at C Today News. So stay tuned with us only on C Today.